good. I know you can't tell, but that was a really good one. Uh, uh, you know, I, it's really more of the sci it's, it's the science aspect. It's the, um, my, I don't care about how the, the beauty of bubble blowing. It's more of a, I come from more of a scientific background. I've been trying to not only recreate the perfect bubble, I need to discover the formula and then the correct way to execute it. A normal day for me begins, I wake up and I go, okay, I am going to discover whatever it takes to create the perfect bubble. Today is what an average day for me is like. Uh, I'll be doing more research with my assistant, Jane. Don't wave. I've made a lot of sacrifices, mainly social sacrifices. I have two friends. One of them is my assistant. She is an amateur, especially by my standards. He's a good guy, just he's really moody. She is a junior level scientist. Um, what she, she basically does notes and the sketches as I blow the bubbles and do the real research. But I need an assistant, so what can you do? I'm sponsored by Seafin Blossom Pusta Fix. They are the, thank, thank you. Jeez. I know. Here, hold this. They are pretty much the best. They, they cover my research and my supplies. They're pretty much the best there is because I help them improve their formula. The chemicals that I deal with, some of them are just soap. But other ones are things that you really have to be careful with. And if you're not, you could lose a hand, or an arm, or a head. What are you going to do now? I don't know what I'm going to do now. Thanks to Seif and Blotman, they've finally done it. Don't, it doesn't matter anymore. The, the, the crazy, I called them up and it was long distance and then I, I burned my arm. I burned my- I tried to tell him not to mix those two together. I really did. Look, I don't care what you have to say. The thing about it is that I was doing the formulas in my lab, the kitchen, that I was, I was mixing the formula and it blew up like a volcano all over my arm. Look how much I can move my arm. I can do it for Look you how, now. No, you can't. Look how much I can move my arm. You see that? I can't even move my arm. I'm trying to and I can't. It feels like it's moving, but it doesn't look like it because it's not. I need both arms for science. What was the last one-armed scientist? There's none. Here. Look, it does, what, Here. what are you doing? I'll hold it for you. What do you can't I'll hold, hold it? I'll hold it for you. But you have to take the I'll note. hold it for you. <sighs> Nothing. Life has been great. Let me tell you, I'm on the set of a photo shoot for Time Magazine right now. Ever since I discovered the perfect bubble, life has been amazing. I finally got to be a scientist on my own and... Whew, one day it just happened. Eugene fired me. We just, we just never really worked well together anyway. I hear he's still living with his mother. He really didn't know anything about bubbles, to tell you the truth. Thought it was all science. But you know, I just put a little TLC into my bubbles and they blossomed. Steve and Blossom fired him. They hired me instead. I'm showing them on the cover of Time Magazine. He has nothing now. And you know what? I couldn't be happier. Life has been really strange for the past couple of months. Uh, my hand is still pretty messed up. This is about as good as it's going to get. Me and Jane, we aren't really on speaking terms anymore. We didn't used to be on speaking terms because I didn't let her talk. But now, she just doesn't want to talk to me because she's famous and she's the scientist that I was supposed to be. I've pretty much given up on my research. There's not much else to do now that 
Jane is famous and all around the world and bubbles everywhere. I haven't necessarily given up on science in general. I'm taking my scientific knowledge in a new direction. I realized that a lot of young scientists, much younger than myself, are injured every day like I am. So I started making get well soon cards. I call them get well soon little professor. I think they're going to be a big hit in the scientific community. Sorry to hear about your liquid nitrogen mishap. You're the coolest. Liquid nitrogen is, is uh, very cold. I'm new to this. I think they're great though. One, two, three, four. My life is like my hand. It's not ruined. It's just horribly disfigured. And I think I'm going to live with that. I think I'll be alright. 